Over the last five weeks, you have been immersed in the importance of having a risk management framework in place in your project or organization. We have provided an easy to use visual framework or canvas around the International Risk Management Standard IS31000, which was issued in 2009. The knowledge, understanding and application of content in this course has been built around the stages of the risk management process. You have participated through hands-on activities by using a range of tools and templates. To this end, you have learned about objective setting through our Kunda Island activity. You've undertaken risk identification by applying brainstorming techniques. You've used a risk categorization scheme such as PESTEL. You've assessed risk using the risk assessment matrix and applied various risk responses by using the four T's of risk response strategy. You then assigned risk to owners and decided on who to communicate the risks to. While using these tools and templates and processes as inputs, you have developed a risk register that could be used in any risk management context. As discussed in section three, the risk register is a formal document that contains information on how risk identification, risk assessment, and risk response are to be managed by the risk owners. The risk owners subsequently report level of risk progress to the project or risk manager to evaluate whether further remedial interventions are required. The risk register forms the foundation of overall risk management strategy and is usually sufficient to manage risk for small to medium-sized projects. However, in larger and more complex projects, the risk register will be a core component that feeds into developing a strategic document we call the risk management plan. So, what is contained in the risk management plan? The risk management plan is a formal document that outlines proposed risk management approaches for your project. Usually it is included as an annexure to the project management plan. However, for larger and more complex projects, it is maintained as a separate document. The risk management plan is dependent on the development of the risk register and captures overarching strategic approaches to the entire risk management process. A risk management plan would typically include the process which will be used to identify, analyze, and treat risks throughout the life of the project together with estimated costings, the process for transferring approved risk costings into the project budget, the process of transferring risk mitigation strategies into the project work breakdown structure, how often the risk register will be reviewed, the review process, and who will be involved in the review, who will be responsible for which aspects of risk management, how risk status will be reported and to whom, and a snapshot of major risks, current risk levels, planned response strategies and costings, together with who will be responsible for implementing these strategies. A risk management plan is developed to ensure levels of risk and uncertainty are properly managed so that the project is successfully completed and project objectives are achieved. It enables risk owners to manage their risks by defining the approach to which they will be contained and the likely cost of mitigation strategies. It is a formally documented plan for managing and reducing the risks identified before and during the project and provides the project sponsor and any other senior management with a reporting framework illustrating risk status and reporting. Developing a risk management plan ensures that the communication of risk management issues engages key stakeholders and provides mechanisms for obtaining feedback and taking remedial action where appropriate. Additional information on the document version, project manager, project team, and steering committee is usually included in the risk management plan. Inclusion of information about your team and possible sub-teams is imperative as part of the risk management plan. This includes information about the areas of discipline and specialization to ensure they are held accountable according to the principles, processes, and methods stipulated in the risk management plan. A risk management plan would be appropriate to our Western Savannah case study. The project is sufficiently large, has a level of complexity and several external stakeholders demanding risk compliance frameworks to be in place. A risk management plan would be considered an essential control tool to manage the completion of this project.